there was this asteroid uh, that collided with Earth uh, over uh, Chelyabinsk in the Soviet Union, in Russia, sorry. That was visible to everybody in broad daylight, and you had to like avert your eyes when it happened. And they felt a shockwave, and the shockwave broke windows and sent nearly a thousand people to the hospital. Imagine the following, a quiet night, the sky full of stars, and you, without realizing it, are looking at space. But what you don't know is that, at that very moment, a gigantic rock is traveling towards Earth, following a strangely precise trajectory, or perhaps not so precise after all. This is Apophis, an asteroid named after an Egyptian deity of chaos. Curious, isn't it? A fitting name because its existence is, in fact, bizarre. Identified in 2004, this space rock quickly attracted the attention of scientists around the world. And why? Because it approaches us in 2029. And when I say approaches, I'm not talking about something millions of kilometers away. Apophis will pass at a distance of only 32,000 kilometers from Earth, practically grazing the planet. Now let's be honest, 32,000 kilometers might sound like a safe distance. After all, you can't even see the moon properly from here. But on the other hand, 32,000 kilometers is less than the orbit of many satellites. Yes, it will pass within our cosmic neighborhood. That's scary, right? On one hand, this proximity gives us a unique opportunity to observe the asteroid in detail that was previously impossible. On the other hand, it raises the question, what if something goes wrong? Apophis doesn't seem like the type of neighbor that warns when it's going to make a visit, and a collision with Earth would be, at best, catastrophic. Now, imagine what would happen if this asteroid suffered a slight deviation in its path, just a few degrees, a subtle variation that would bring it directly to meet us. Every second, scientists around the world are monitoring its orbit, but there's something disturbing about this story. There's a phenomenon that might be acting against us, something subtle but terribly effective, the Yarkovsky effect. And what would that be, you ask? The answer might be even stranger than you imagine. The Yakovsky effect happens when an asteroid is unevenly heated by the sun. Yes, even sunlight can push a giant rock through space. This solar radiation, in its calmness, creates a gradual push, altering the object's trajectory. Imagine a giant asteroid being diverted as if it were a paper ball being blown off course. Bizarre, isn't it? This brings us to a very important point. If sunlight can affect an asteroid 340 meters in diameter, what else might be influencing its path? Are we really in control of the situation? Or are invisible forces conspiring silently to bring chaos, or rather, Apophis, towards us? You've probably thought about how many things around us happen without us noticing. Some are harmless, like the dust floating in the air without our attention. Others like Apophis, are potentially scary and are far beyond our sight, or at least for now. Now let's return to our gigantic space friend, who moves silently through the cosmos. Apophis isn't just wandering aimlessly out there, it follows an incredibly precise yet bizarre trajectory. That's because, as we saw, besides gravitational influences, this asteroid is affected by something that seems almost like science fiction, solar radiation. The Yakovsky effect, which we mentioned before, acts as a subtle and constant little push, gradually changing its path. And here's where the really strange side of this story begins. We're used to thinking of massive objects as something immutable, unshakable. An asteroid hundreds of meters in diameter seems, at first glance, like a gigantic heavy stone, impossible to be moved. But then comes the invisible factor. The sun's heat warms the side of the asteroid facing it, and that heat is released back into space in the form of thermal radiation. This process seems insignificant, but it's like a force that slowly pushes Apophis out of its original path. You might be asking yourself, okay, but how much does this deviation really matter? Well, enough to keep NASA on high alert. See, Apophis's orbit is studied with almost obsessive precision, Every day, computer models are updated with new data to predict the asteroid's exact future. And as far as everything indicates, in 2029, it won't hit us. At least, probably not. What makes this phenomenon so scary is that we're not just talking about a simple calculation. The Yarkovsky effect, combined with Earth's gravity and other celestial bodies, creates a true cosmic ballet. 
a slip, a small adjustment here or there, and everything can drastically change. Apophis could, hypothetically, enter something scientists call a gravitational lock hole. Strange, right? And what exactly is that? A gravitational lock hole is a small region of space where Earth's gravitational pull could alter Apophis's trajectory in a very dangerous way. Imagine a slightly open door where, if the asteroid passes exactly through the right point, its path could be redirected directly towards us in a future pass. Now the lingering question, are we at the mercy of an inevitable collision? What can we do to prevent an asteroid of this size from hitting the planet? This possibility is scary, but the strangest thing of all is that we don't know for sure what will happen. But before you start panicking, remember that science, as bizarre as it may sometimes be, is our greatest ally. There are entire teams of specialists deeply studying all the variables. However, this combination of factors, from the sun's radiation to gravitational fields, continues to keep us in a constant state of alert. And this leads us to an intriguing question. Are we truly capable of controlling our destiny in the vast, unpredictable and chaotic universe? Imagine the scene. It's 2029 and the night sky is about to transform into an impressive spectacle. Apophis, the colossal asteroid, will be so close to Earth that it can be seen with the naked eye, shining brightly in the sky. For astronomers it will be a dream come true, but for the rest of us, it's a dramatic reminder that we are at the mercy of cosmic forces. Let's put that distance into perspective. When we say Apophis will pass about 32,000 kilometers from Earth, it might seem like a colossal number. However, if you've ever watched a science fiction movie, you know that this distance is only a fraction of what would be necessary to ensure true safety. In astronomical terms, 32,000 kilometers is practically a cosmic leap, as if a huge piece of rock is giving a very close hello. The spectacle will be visible to billions of people around the globe, and it's something few of us have ever witnessed. Imagine an asteroid shining in the sky, so bright that it rivals satellites in orbit. Bizarre, isn't it? However, this proximity, as incredible as it is for observers and scientists, is also a source of unease. Here's a thought for you. While we are all marveling at the beauty of this cosmic event, scientists will be working frantically to ensure that nothing bad happens. The reason for this is that although Apophis does not represent an immediate threat of collision in 2029, its proximity is a crucial moment to collect data and better understand its trajectory and characteristics. Now you might be thinking, but how exactly do they expect to find out with this mission? That's where things get interesting. The goal isn't just to observe the spectacle, it's what comes after that really counts. Apophis's passage is a rare opportunity to study the asteroid in detail. How does it interact with solar light? What is its exact composition? And how is its movement affected by all these invisible factors? NASA, with its OSIRIS APEX mission, is about to face a series of challenges, all aimed at collecting data that could be vital for the future security of our planet. The mission will be a combination of advanced science and cutting-edge tracking techniques, with the goal of understanding the potential impact of the Yarkovsky effect and other influences on the asteroid's trajectory. Furthermore, the mission isn't just about science, it serves as an alert, a way for us to prepare for possible future scenarios. We're talking about a technology that could eventually help divert asteroids if they ever pose a real threat. And we can't forget that all this information helps us prepare for future space events, allowing us to react more effectively and who knows, even develop strategies to prevent a disaster. Therefore, while we admire the spectacle of 2029, remember that there's much more happening behind the scenes. And if when you look to the sky you feel a pinch of anxiety mixed with admiration, don't worry. It's just the universe's way of reminding us that as bizarre and unpredictable as it may seem, we're all navigating together through this great and strange cosmic journey. Now get ready to dive into a concept that is as intriguing as it is bizarre, the Yarkovsky effect. This phenomenon is, strangely, one of the most important factors in understanding the trajectory of Apophis, and indeed any asteroid that might be wandering through the solar system. But what exactly is the Yarkovsky effect and why is it so crucial? Imagine you're holding a bucket of hot water and one of cold water. If you let some hot water spill into the cold bucket, the cold water starts to warm up while the hot water starts to cool down. This process, though simple in a bucket, is comparable to what happens to an asteroid's surface when it absorbs and emits heat. When an asteroid like Apophis travels through space, it absorbs solar radiation, heats up its surface, and then emits it back into space. Here's where the Yarkovsky effect comes into play. 
As the asteroid heats up and cools down, this process of emitting heat creates a force that, while small, can alter the asteroid's trajectory over time. Think of it as a small invisible push that can gradually change the asteroid's orbit. Scarily, this small force can have big consequences over long time scales. The beauty and complexity of the Yarkovsky effect is that it's not constant, it varies with the asteroid's rotation, its shape, and how it interacts with the sun's heat. And what's even more intriguing is that scientists need to measure and model these small pushes to accurately predict Apophis' future. And yes, this involves a lot of mathematics and complicated simulations. Imagine scientists as cosmic jugglers trying to keep all the balls in the air while gravity, heat, and sunlight do their work. You might be thinking, but how can we know if the Yarkovsky effect is really a problem? Well, that's where meticulous observation and modeling come in. Apophis's trajectory is carefully monitored and simulated to understand how these small adjustments can impact its path over time. It's a combination of cutting edge science and a bit of guesswork. And strangely, this leads us to a fascinating reflection. What else in the cosmos could have a similar impact on our daily lives? If a small invisible push can change an asteroid's trajectory, what other invisible forces might be shaping our destiny here on Earth? Now that we're immersed in the mysterious Yarkovsky effect, let's explore another intriguing facet of Apophis's trajectory, the gravitational lock hole regions. Yes, you read that correctly, lock holes, a term that might sound straight out of a science fiction novel, but which is very real and relevant to the dynamics of our solar system. Imagine the cosmos as a massive spider web, with celestial bodies like planets and asteroids being the various dust particles and strands. Some areas of this web are denser, while others are more sparse. Gravitational lock holes are regions within this web where the gravitational influence of a celestial body, like Earth, can exert a significant impact on an asteroid's trajectory. It sounds a bit like a scene from a suspense movie, doesn't it? These regions act like traps, where a planet's gravity can unexpectedly alter an asteroid's path. For Apophis, this means that as it travels through space, it may approach these regions, and its trajectory can be altered in bizarre and unpredictable ways. As you can imagine, monitoring these regions is crucial to predicting Apophis's future behavior. Gravitational interactions can be as subtle as a change in atmospheric pressure on a windy day, but they have the potential to influence the asteroid's trajectory in ways that can be both fascinating and disturbing. And here's a really interesting thought. If these gravitational lock hole regions can alter asteroid trajectories, what else in the cosmos could be deceiving us with their own traps and unexpected influences? Are there invisible, strange, and uncontrollable forces shaping our destiny in ways we still can't understand? Scientists are developing complex models and simulating different scenarios to understand how gravitational lock hole regions can affect Apophis. They use supercomputers to calculate the interactions between the asteroid and these critical points, trying to predict how gravity and other factors can alter its path. These simulations are like a cosmic theater play, where each actor, the Earth, the Sun, and other planets, plays a role in an intergalactic drama. And at the center of this stage is Apophis, navigating through these invisible traps and ultimately shaping its destiny. Ready to dive into the next block? Let's explore the potential threat and strategic planning to address what's coming. We've now reached the crucial point of our journey, preparation for the unimaginable. With Apophis approaching and the threats becoming increasingly palpable, what is humanity doing to protect itself from a potential collision? The answer to this question is both fascinating and crucial for our survival. The idea that an asteroid can impact Earth might seem like a science fiction movie plot, but the reality is that scientists are taking this possibility very seriously. One of the main initiatives in this regard is the development of planetary defense strategies, an area that combines cutting-edge science with a healthy dose of creativity and ingenuity. Let's take a look at some of the most impressive and honestly, a bit bizarre strategies that are being explored. Among them, we have the use of space probes to deflect asteroids. This might seem like something taken from a Hollywood script, but scientists are developing technologies that can effectively alter an asteroid's trajectory. For example, the idea of using a spacecraft to hit an asteroid and change its orbit is a realistic and innovative approach. Additionally, the gravitational tractor technology is being studied. Imagine a spacecraft that uses gravity to pull the asteroid in a new direction, as if it were literally trying to give a small cosmic push out of the way. It's an elegant and technically challenging solution, but certainly intriguing. But there's something even more impressive underway. Have you heard of a laser shield? Yes, you read that correctly. 
the idea is to use high-powered lasers to vaporize the asteroid's surface, altering its trajectory through the thrust reaction. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a real possibility that's being investigated. Imagine just for a moment a beam of light cutting through space, saving Earth from a potential disaster. Scary and fascinating, isn't it? While these futuristic solutions are being developed, the role of continuous observation and data collection cannot be overstated. Every new space mission, every new telescope, every new simulation helps enhance our understanding of Apophis and other potentially dangerous asteroids. These collective efforts represent the front line in the fight to protect our planet. Ultimately, what's at stake is much more than just avoiding an impact. It's about our ability to confront the unknown and use our intelligence and innovation to preserve life on Earth. Preparation for the worst and hope for the best go hand in hand in this monumental effort. So as we look to the future, the lingering question is, will we be ready to face what comes from the cosmos? The answers are being shaped now through research, technology, and global collaboration. And one thing is certain, the adventure of understanding and protecting our planet is just beginning. As Apophis approaches and scientists work tirelessly to unlock its secrets, the real question is, are we ready to face the unknown? The global effort to deflect asteroids from space probes to futuristic lasers is highlighting our resilience and innovation. With a combination of advanced technology and international collaboration, humanity is preparing for the unexpected. The cosmos may be vast and daunting, but it is our curiosity and determination that will keep us on track. The adventure to protect our planet is just beginning, and the future has never been more exciting.